friends welcome back to the class today i am going to explain the topic kingdom protista from the chapter kingdom classification in previous class already discussed about the, the various different types of uh, kingdoms today i will give you the information or knowledge about the kingdom protista so the kingdom protista it is a unicellular organism the family members of this kingdom is only unicellular and eukaryotic what is mean by unicellular that means only having only one cell in the body having only one cell this type of organism is called unicellular and eukaryotic organism what is mean by eukaryotic organism the organism having the dna materials or the chromosome materials present the body having nucleated so this type of organism is called eukaryotic unicellular and eukaryotic so there are few characteristic features mentioned here i will give you the information about the uh, kingdom protista the first one they are acel acellular acellular means unicellular having only one cell eukaryotic organism eukaryotic means having nucleus contain the chrom chromatin materials means chromosome materials and second one the locomotory organelles may be pseudopodia or cilia or flagella what is mean by locomotory organelles locomotory means for help to moving one place to other place in the case of the birds it's also used in their wings for their locomotion from one place to another place the human beings use in the legs for walking some places what about the other organs in the case of the smaller organs like the from the kingdom protista they are using the some organelles that is called in pseudopodia 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 means i will explain afterwards and some other organs of the same family or same uh, species uh, some cilia cilia is also help to locomotion and some other organs may be flagellated flagella so the various membrane next character the various membrane bound cells organelles are present various membrane bound cells organelles are present and next one the body may be covered by simple plasma body may be covered by simple plasma membrane the cell wall is absent so that body is covered by simple plasma not a rigid one simple plasma the cell wall so it uh, this organs are having there is no cell wall absent cell wall so the cell, the cell wall is absent and the last one respiration and the excretion take place through the body surface by means of diffusion by means of diffusion so what is mean by diffusion so this smaller organs are having there is no mouth and some uh, ejective parts removing parts so how to diffuse how to uh, remove the waste how to collect the uh, food i will give you one information means imagine this is one amoeba structure amoeba having there is no uh, shape so they want to collect the food and how to eject the food i will give you the information first of all imagine this consider a food okay so this boy this one is going to close the food then afterwards what happen that one of the body parts opened and the rejoin some other parts rejoin other parts means that food item trapped inside the amoeba okay now some of the tentacles help to break the food items break the food items after the waste the waste materials also want to secrete out how to secrete out there is no parts for excretion that's why that food is also come to close in the wall afterwards this also rejoin this about rejoin the body parts rejoin the body parts as a result the waste is also ejected out 
So this type of organisms is having there is no mouth and the excretory parts. The collecting parts, this type of projected finger like projection is called pseudopodia. So this pseudopodia is also helpful to locomotion, moving one place to other place. In the case of paramecium, In the case of paramecium, what does that have in the outer side? This is one hair-like structure. One hair-like structure. This structure is called cilia. So this hair-like structure is also helpful to moving one place to other place. So it is a other type of um, locomotory organ. Okay. And the euglena, one other type of organ is euglena. That euglena is also having the one flagella. Flagella means tail-like structure. That is structure is called uh, flagella, means flagella. This flagella is also helpful to locomotion, one place to other place. So here, it is a flagella. So this is also, this flagella is also helpful to locomotion, one place to other place. In the case of amoeba, amoeba is also, this finger-like position is called pseudopodia. And in the case of the paramecium, this hair-like structure, this hair like structure is also helpful to uh, locomotion. So in the case of the kingdom protista, in this family members having some different organs to help to locomotion. So I hope all of you understood this, uh, this topic or this kingdom protista. Mainly they, you want to understand it having only single cell or unicellular organism and eukaryotic organism. And locomotory organs, uh, organs of the organs means in the case of amoeba having the pseudopodia and the paramecium having cilia and in the case of the euglena having the flagella. Flagella means uh, tail like structure. So I hope all of you understood this topic. Thank you.